Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Today we're going to be doing another uh, long play or let's learn video. Today we're going to be taking a stab at the troll and we're going to go ahead and try the warper because I've had, I've used the troll warper in the past and I had pretty good luck with it. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and use, uh, I guess, if I pick a mace, does that mean I can't use my claws? I guess we'll try it. If not, we'll, uh, we'll come back to the screen and pick the claws. Because if I... Remember, yeah, see, we already have our claws, so now we just also have a mace. Uh, let's take a moment here, and... So we have... Axe, we have maces and flails being... Uh, we don't really need to train rowing, I don't believe. I don't think that's uh, really something I'm too concerned about is the, uh, the throwing. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, fighting maces and flails, I think instead of dodging, we're going to go for some armor training. Just a little bit. Uh, we do want to have spell cat. Or no, we're actually going to Nah. Nah. Yeah, we're going to get rid of uh, armor, I think. We're going to leave it on dodging, because they obviously put that there for a reason. Um, and I think, for now, we're going to get rid of our mace and just use our claws. But the fact that we are training with a mace will probably be a decent... Uh, decent backup plan, and I might use it every now and again, just, you know, because we're training it, like now, we'll just go ahead and use it, because it's not a bad weapon, it's just not as good as, I don't know, my claws, I guess, like, why would I use a mace when I have huge claws, um, I guess I say that, but here I am using that exact mace that I said was a was a stupid idea, so we're going to go ahead and pick up these stones. Looks like we found... Whoops. Let's pick up that other mace. Um, and I guess we'll see what it is. It might be... Cursed, which could be bad. But it's not, so we're going to go ahead and actually we're going to drop one of these maces. And I think we're just going to try and use our claws a lot. I wonder if there's a, a skill for yeah, unarmed combat. Let's go ahead and actually take off the maces and flails. And let's go for some unarmed combat. That might serve us a little bit better. Um, and we already have a level 2 dodging, so we're not going to go for any armor. At least not really. We might get a little bit of armor, but do you really want to attack barehanded? Yes. Is it gonna ask every time okay, I thought it was gonna ask every single time. I was like, that's gonna get very annoying. It asks every single time, but it doesn't. It understands what we're doing. So that's pretty good. Big fan of that. I always hate when games like repeat over and over, like, are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to do that. That's why I did it. Uh, but, you know, they're just trying to be helpful. So that doesn't lead anywhere. There's a spear, got a hobgoblin, or just a goblin, I suppose. We are getting hungry, so we're going to go ahead and eat some flesh, because trolls actually really like flesh. Um, so we're going to go ahead and stick with that. Now, in hindsight, <clears throat> I should have stuck with uh, claws only for this character, because now we're using claws only anyways, and it's just a big hindrance. <clears throat> because if you look at our stats... Whoops, we're going to go ahead and actually get uh, Shroud. Um, because if you look at that skill, 
Uh, let's go ahead and go to describe. No, uh, wait, that's not it. Is it, uh, wait a minute, what the hell? Where is my, uh, shroud of, okay, it's not even there. Okay, list of all spells, can we, uh, can I, like, look at, okay, I've used the shroud on accident. Essentially, what it does is, uh, <clears throat> like, after your armor, your shield, your armor, and your dodge has been calculated, this gives you basically another layer of armor to try to, obviously, avoid damage. So it's just kind of a, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a good skill for that. Also, I think, actually, as long as we're... As long as we're, we're changing how we're training everything, let's go ahead and actually take armor. Because, um, interesting thing about that shroud ability is it actually does, uh, it actually is more effective the higher your armor is. Um, so, so getting good with, uh, with armor will actually be very good for us. It doesn't look like we can actually wear it though. Armor's too small. Okay, so maybe that's why they were training dodging. Because uh, the armor's too small. Nothing fits us. Because we're just huge. Well, okay, so I don't know how that's supposed to work. But, uh, I don't know. I heard that apparently... Maybe it's for diff a different class, maybe. Maybe not for the... Uh, maybe not for, for this guy. We're actually going to go ahead and drop our mace and our ring mail. Yeah, sorry, I'm kind of flip-flopping around. Um, I, you know, I thought I had an idea when I came into this. Apparently I do not. Okay, let's go back to a downward staircase. We've already found a scroll. And we've already found a... You know what, we're early enough in this run. Let's actually, uh, let's go ahead and just start ourselves over. We're only like level two, so it's not a big deal. We're not losing a lot, um, but we're going to go ahead and start over and make sure that our character actually is using unarmed from the start. Go with the troll warper. We're going to go with the claws. It'll just give us, you know, like two levels that we don't have to worry about. Like, whoa, what the hell is this? Okay, see, this was a great idea. I totally stand by that decision. That was awesome. But yeah, see, now if we look at our... Fall into a shaft. Uh, leading out of... Okay, so now we're on dungeon level 2. So we've just fallen down a shaft into the dungeon. Neat! I was kind of excited to explore that beach, but whatever. Uh, we're going to, again, get rid of our throwing... Because uh, I don't really care. But see, now we already have a level 2 in unarmed combat. Which is pretty good. Um, it's a pretty good way to start this whole ordeal. Go ahead and pick up the granite ring. Uh, that seems like a real bad time in there, boss. It's just a bunch of demons. I mean, I guess they are behind uh, behind glass or ice or something of that sort. It's not a huge deal, but still. Oh, cool. We have more boomerangs. Why is it every time I play a troll, I find 100,000 boomerangs? You found a silvery potion and a dagger. Okay, we'll pick up the potion. And if we can find a staircase up back out of the dungeon, like right here, I'm actually going to go ahead and once we're done here... Uh, we found a trident. That would be cool if we were a merfolk, but we aren't, so I'm not hugely concerned with it. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm not really resting with this character, trolls have an innate uh, plus, what is it, a plus one regen per turn. And since our health is only 19, that, 
that regen is a huge bonus for us right now. I mean, it's always a huge bonus to just be able to have that in your pocket. But it's definitely even more so of a, of a bonus when your health is so low and that one a turn is like, a, you know, it's a substantial percentage of your health every turn. Also, one thing I will say I like about the Warper. Okay, we've reached level two. We're actually going to go ahead and rest after that. But one thing I like about the Warper is you actually start with the scroll of blinking, which means that you don't have to waste one later because you already know what a scroll of blinking is. So if you find another one, you just you just have that with you. Um, so we did learn. We're going to go ahead and learn that shroud ability again. Uh, yes, we're going to learn the Shroud. That spell has been assigned to A. I don't know how to reassign that, but I just need to remember that now. That the Shroud is now assigned to A. And that will mean blinking is probably B. And again, like, I don't really know how to change that, but I'm not hugely concerned with it. So let's kill some rats and gather some items. Continue exploring this dungeon. And see, look, right here, there's another scroll of blinking. But we know what it is, so we don't have to we don't have to spend it to figure out what it is. We can go ahead and rip apart these uh, the bats and the rats to get some food out of them. There's another robe. I mean, it's probably not any better than ours. Our robe is just, it's uh, its absolutely average, and that's okay. We're going to go ahead and eat because we're super hungry. There's some armor we can't wear. There's a trap door. A shrine to the Shining One. I don't plan on packing a ton of money, so I don't know that the Shining One is necessarily going to be good. But I also haven't gotten far enough in this game to really have a preference, to be honest. Like, it's just kind of going to go for some strength. Make ourselves super hyper strong. You are near starving. Okay, let's eat a ration then. Okay, so now that we're done exploring, we're going to go up the stairs. It doesn't really matter where. Oh. Interesting. I thought we uh, had already been on this floor, but apparently not. That's okay. It's more experience. Plus, you know, going up is definitely a lot, uh, a lot easier of a time. It's easier to go up than it is to go down as far as difficulty goes. So we'll just kind of take this as a chance for some free experience. We can just take a shaft back down to level 2 again. Whatever shaft I fell into earlier is probably the one we'll take. Because we already know roughly where it is. And so that should make it pretty easy to, uh, pretty easy to fall into it again. Oops, I want to... There we go. I'm starving. Okay eat some flesh. You're feeling very hungry. Eat some flesh. Excellent. I do like that it at least stops you to try to warn you that like... Can I eat more? I was gonna say, maybe if I eat enough, maybe he'll just like get full. And I don't have to do this every couple seconds. Eat more flesh. I mean, he seems to like it, so it's not like a big deal. So that's something. I don't know what that really means in the long run. If eating all of this is going to be like a, a big deal. If you can like overeat or something like that. Oh wait, did I just pick up the curse club? Whoops. Really don't want that. Let's go ahead and drop that. That's not a thing that I want necessarily. Pick up the stones, pick up the stones, pick up the things. Oh, sick, we got some bread, gamers. 
Got that gamer bread. I mean, that has to be what it is, right? You find bread in a video game, it's instantly gamer bread. That's just a fact. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, some bats, some kobolds, and a goblin. Not really concerned about it. If I'm being honest. Oh, so that's where we were, is out there. How do I get out there? So I still don't know where I fell. Was it just this? No? That's just no texture? Neat. Okay, well still, we found a beach. That's interesting aesthetically anyways. Go ahead and eat. Eat again. Oh, let's just eat a ration. We can just keep kind of, you know, going back up to floor one. I thought that beach was going to be a little bit more. But it's okay that it wasn't. Like, it's not a huge deal. Uh, we can also probably learn another spell. Uh, we can learn... Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and learn Blink. Uh, yes, we're going to go ahead and learn Blink. And we're also going to learn... We can't learn anything else. Okay. Well, so now if we press Z... And what is that? The, the star... So you hit that and star, it'll tell you, you know, blink. So I can press Z and then question mark, and then I can choose between blink or shroud of globura. Neat. Okay. Anyways, I was really hoping that beach was going to be a little bit more substantial. But that's okay. We can just kind of, you know, we've already explored the floor below, so that means we can just keep going down. Without really a worry. Whoops, whoops. Oh, cool. It just, uh. That's a neat way to do it. I didn't really think. Just use the hotkey for going down some stairs, and that's how you go downstairs. That makes sense. A plus one whip of draining? That would be cool if that was something that we used. But we don't, so sadly, it's not really applicable. Fall in a shaft, and I fell to a further dungeon. Why am I, I keep falling into shafts? Um, I'm fighting a bunch of slaves, I guess. You've reached level 5. Dodging has increased. My unarmed has increased. My fighting has increased. My spellcasting has increased. And now I'm level 6. I'm going to go for some strength. I've reached level 7. That's awesome. Holy crap, I just leveled up like so many times. Can I get away from him? Okay, let's fight him. I'm not worried. I'm tough. Hey, bud. Is he just gonna follow me around? Cause like, that's cool. I don't really mind. It's just a little weird. I'm gonna go back upstairs, actually. Uh, okay, maybe this was a fucking mistake. Maybe it wasn't. Holy crap, that was... That could have been and should have been much worse. Can I butcher anything? Let's go ahead and just butcher every single thing we can possibly find. I'm actually going to take his rope too, because it's not cursed. Also, there's a nice staff up in this corner, and I don't know if it's anything I need. We just got a bunch of flesh. I'm gonna just eat a bunch of it. That way we're all nice and full now. We're actually gonna try on that other robe just to see aesthetically if it looks any better. No, it does not. I like the other one better. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that other robe, because it's... But I dropped a wand of enslavement. Why? Why did I drop that? Okay, let's go ahead and drop something that I actually... Let's go ahead and drop the whip. We'll go ahead and drop that other robe. Um, I'm actually going to drop the wand of enslavement because I don't need it. Yep, yeah, we're going to drop those. Okay. 
cool. Okay, we're actually going to go ahead and read one of these scrolls that we have three of, which is Q. Let's read it. Scroll of Identify, okay. I'm going to go ahead and identify one of these rings. Plus two ring of intelligence, that's probably not a bad idea. Uh, although, can I, oh, you can actually put it on. I wasn't sure if you could, if you're a troll. Wasn't sure if that kind of stopped you from, uh, from being able to do that. That would make sense. Because they can't really wear armor either. So I wouldn't be surprised if they said, you know, that you can't, uh, that you can't wear rings either. Let's go ahead and read now that we have another scroll. Uh, or we could identify now, that'd be a waste. Let's go ahead and just read one of them. The scroll of Remove Curse. Okay, that's not a bad idea. That would mean if we found like a, a very good item but it was cursed, we could still use it, which would be probably pretty cool. Also, I'm not, ooh, I'm not too worried about the no target views right there. Go ahead and butcher them. We'll go ahead and grab all of the chunks of flesh. Uh, once again, we're going to try the robe just to see. Because, again, none of these robes are any better or worse. So, we might as well see, you know, do a little bit of, do a bit of a fashion show, as it were. Go ahead and drop that. Uh, okay. That's going to be that. And, uh, let's, oh, there's a bat, okay. I thought the game just froze for a second, but there was a bat nearby. Another bat, okay. Let's kick its ass. Let's kick everyone's ass. Because they're big and powerful. Go ahead and grab those chunks of flash. Oh, we also have some bubbling potions and more boomerangs, nice. Um, I'm actually going to use not the boomerangs of dispersal, but I would rather just uh, quiver my regular boomerangs first. One, because we have more of them. And two, just because I think it would be, I don't want to accidentally throw an enchanted item like that. Oh, there was a, a scroll up here that we never got. Let's go get it. No, it's a scroll of identify too. That would have been a big mistake to leave. And we are going to go ahead and eat preemptively. A glowing amulet. Always cool to find glowing amulets. Big fan. Uh, we're going to grab the ration and we'll fight this man. Luckily, I don't know how true it is. But I feel like because we have that natural plus one regen, that we probably have a decent chance to, uh, I guess, you know, when we're poisoned, we can kind of fight it off just with our, uh, with our regen. Okay, this guy's throwing boomerangs at me. I like boomerangs. I mean, I haven't really used them, so I don't know if I really have an opinion of them, but theory. An orc is too close for my liking. Let's kick his ass. Can I grab his gold? Because I like gold. I'm feeling hungry. Let's eat all of these chunks. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's eat a ration. That's cool. Just one second. Just gotta close something real quick. Okay. Sorry about that. There was a light that turned on for no reason. I just wanted to turn it off. It kind of closed the little hatch that it was in. So now we're going to go back down. As you can see, we've already been down here a little bit, so I'm not too concerned. I wonder if these freed slaves will fight with us because we freed them. If they would do that as like a, you saved my life, I'll fight with you. Because that could be cool, right? 
I could see that being a thing, but I could also see them. What the hell is a silver boomer? I know. Why do I care about it? Uh, okay. 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 Let's just go down these stairs. And back up. And back down. And back up. Um, well, we do have blink. We're going to go ahead and use that. going to go ahead and blink. Oh, that really didn't get us anywhere, did it? Okay, let's go up the... Ooh, okay. Can I blink again? Okay. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe we can just keep blinking away from this man. Uh, blink again. Just try to get away from him. Try and make as much ground away from this guy as I act as I absolutely can, because he's gonna kick my ass. Oh wait, we can also do Z and then A. There we go. There we go. I like it. See, we got to use those strategies sometimes. Let's go ahead and eat some of those some of those chunks of that big man. I went upstairs, yeah, because this is only dungeon three, and we're on dungeon four. Let's go ahead and go over here and go down the stairs, and now we can continue our adventure as normal. See, that's one thing that I was struggling with. I think in the last couple playthroughs I've done is uh, I really didn't um, I didn't take the time to learn how magic worked at all and it kind of bit me in the ass especially when I was trying to oh, okay, another freed slave it kind of bit me in the ass when I was trying to uh, what am I trying to whoa oh my god there's a million lizards here holy crap wow okay that's fine I mean it's gonna be free meat basically Go ahead and gut all of them. We'll take A, B, and C. We'll go ahead and get all of them. We'll get A, B, C, and D. And we'll go ahead and eat some of them. Because they do go bad. We might as well get full up on them before they go bad. Kind of the only problem with using raw meat for things is it does go bad after a while. That's a big pooch. So we can just kind of walk around like nothing's going on because we're pretty strong. I don't want to get too cocky though because I do realize we're powerful, but but we're not that powerful if that makes sense. Go ahead and grab those chunks of flesh, and we'll eat again, rest up a little bit, and grab these scrolls. What is that? Oh, that was just a... What the hell is that? Oh, it's a helmet. I don't know if trolls can wear helmets. I don't believe they can. Can I wear it? It's too small, yeah. I mean, that sucks, because that was a really... Like, look at that helmet. Look at that. That looks really cool. It's a very... It's a very cool-looking helmet. It's a shame we couldn't... Be, you know, it's a shame we couldn't go places with that helmet, but... That's okay. We will just drop it for another day. All you get from fighting Natasha is just, like, meat. There's no special anything. That's disappointing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use one of our scrolls of identify on this glowing amulet, because I'm curious as hell what it is. Amulet of harm, which means what? Amulet of 
amplify all damage dealt by the wearer. As an unfortunate side effect, it also amplifies all damage dealt to the wearer, albeit to a lesser degree when the effects of the amulet are severed by removing it, the magical backlash significantly drain the wearer. Okay, so... Basically, if I decide to put it on, it's kind of a fucking commitment. That's cool. What is the... Oh, again? Okay, so that wasn't the real... I mean, is it though? Wand of Acid? I guess we are doing spell casting, so maybe picking up a couple wands isn't a huge mistake. Just go ahead and go downstairs. Oh, okay. Okay, so if you do that, it just brings you to the nearest downstairs. Interesting. Okay, I'm learning how hockey's work. I'm doing the thing. Another scroll of identify. Let's go ahead and look at another one of those rings. Because we don't really have much else going on. So, it's Q. And we're going to actually, let's look at some of these red, or some of these potions that we have. Like, potions of cancellation. Uh, okay, let's look at some of these silvery potions. Potions of Haste. Okay, I don't want to use all of them. But I do think it's good that we looked at those. So now we at least know... We have a vague idea of what we have in our... What we have on our persons. Okay, yep, just keep eating... Keep eating flesh. You big, beautiful bastard. Eat some jackals. Consume. Just consume ja- oh, what? You found a staircase to a temple. What about this is unsafe to travel? Yeah. What does that even mean? Why is this a travel excluded area? Okay, uh, so the, that's just poison. Can I just grab the scroll and get the hell out? Okay. So, that guy's an asshole. Whatever god that is, it's not a... It's not a friend. Uh, but that's okay. Not everyone has to be our friend. That's cool. More potions of cancellation, whatever the hell those are. Is that a golden trident? A jeweled trident. Neat. I don't know what that does. We're not a merfolk, so we're not really going to be using tridents. Let's look at what some of these other scrolls we have are. Some of these other... Oh, there's this other scroll we have, too. Of. Let's go ahead and read one of them. Scroll of Amnosia. I don't want to forget a spell. Do I still have my spells? Both of them? Okay, I do. Okay. Speaking of that, I should actually look at... Yeah, because I have nine spell levels. So let's go ahead and get... Uh, a 71% chance of failure. What is... Okay, let's do... Describe. Uh, Jill's Gravitas. Uh, briefly redirect gravity around target point, causing down to be towards that point, so it kind of drags everyone together, it sounds like. Um, the Lesser Beckoning beckons the target forward, attempting to place them closer to me. Uh, teleport Other randomly translocates a target, and then Passage to Globodia. Open suit gateways, one near the caster, allows instantaneous transport to a random open gateway. To any creature entering them. There is no limit to the number of gateways. It can be open at one time, but the gateway will close when entered. Uh, okay, so we're not going to jump into that yet. I think we're going to go ahead and do the uh, 
Gels Gravitas or Gels Gravitas, whatever it is. Um, can I uh, go back to memorizing? There we go. Let's go ahead and learn that. Yes. So that's now spell C. And I do want to learn uh, Teleport Other. Yes. And we do probably have enough spell points to take another, uh, to, you know, to take another spell, but I really don't think it's necessary right now. Hello. Hey, what's up? I killed a crazy man. I just wanted to talk to him. Okay, let's, uh... I guess let's take his stuff. Like, let's, let's just take it, because it's probably half decent stuff. Okay, um, I don't know what the consequences of that are, but I feel like I wasn't supposed to, uh, wasn't supposed to do that. I feel like that was a bad idea. So we got his cloak. Now we have a quarter staff of chaos, and it is a plus four, which is very good. Um, we can go ahead and identify another one of these rings. Just again, we have so many of these damn rings, we might as well, might as well see if any of them are useful. A plus four ring of dexterity, I guess. Yeah, why not? Nothing else really going on right now. I wonder what happens if you just like don't uh, you don't kill that guy, you know? Let's go down the escape hatch in the floor if we can, and continue our journey. What? Who is that? Dallin, brother of Div Duvessa. Beautiful but vain deep elf from the aptitude of magic and little else. His skills are a perfect complement with his twin sister Duvessa's fighting prowess in search of uh, more powerful spells. He journeys to the surface with his sister. He's got 24 HP. Uh, he can throw frost, flame, uh, whatever this is. Cause a halo of glowing light to surround effectively outline a creature. This glow. Offsets the dark, musty atmosphere of the dungeon, and makes okay, so it makes it easier to uh, easier to see, and then he can give other people haste. Okay, interesting. I was gonna say I'm sure she's nearby, but I mean, last time I fought them, it wasn't a big deal. So okay, I've killed them both. I guess I'll just go ahead and eat them. Like, that's probably the proper thing to do, right? Just to consume their body. I guess he's a mage. There probably isn't anything to consume. Well, that was a boss fight, I guess. Kind of thought it was going to be a bigger deal. Gotta be honest. But, oh, whoa, okay. I don't know what I was expecting, but not this many orcs. Morning stars. Let's go ahead and get these orc chunks of flesh and eat them. Uh, floor items. There's a ration on the floor. Hold on. Uh, use comma. I guess. You eat a ration. Okay, so I ate the ration off of the floor. Now I'm very full. Uh, okay, scorpion's not a huge deal. We can just go ahead and pick up all this crap. And get back to explore. Oh, cool. We moved like one space. Bone. Bone snake. That's pretty spooky. 
so I'm told. Found a scroll of identify. That'd be cool to get to. Uh, I'm gonna guess we can't wear plate armor, but I want to check because that would be cool if we could. Nope, we can't. Okay. Go ahead and drop it then. It's disappointing, but I can't say I'm too surprised. I don't know how you even get in there. Could I, like, uh... Nope. Okay. Well, I guess you can't actually get in the... Ooh. Uh, Shadow Imp. Not hugely concerned. I'm more concerned that he shouted. Because that could potentially be a very big deal. Shouting just means, you know, if there's any enemies that are nearby at all, they're going to get summoned to that location because naturally they hear a loud sound and they're curious. Is there anything else on this floor? More boomerangs of dispersal. That's pretty good. I mean, I guess. I don't really know, but in theory. More rations, if I can get to them. There's a lot of boys here. Oh, I thought that was walls. Okay. A wand of enslavement, and this is an altar to the Shining One. I don't really care to be a part of the Shining One. Because... I believe the whole thing is just, uh, it's just based around money, and I don't really, I guess I don't really use money, but at the same time, it's like I don't use money, so why would I care to, why would I want that to be my entire character, you know, if I'm not really into the whole money thing, why would I, uh, why, why would I commit my entire life to, uh, to that? So we can go ahead and fight these adders pretty easy. Pretty good. It's a big old axe. If I was playing an orc, that'd be cool, but we're not. What is that huge thing? Ice beast. I mean, look, free stuff. That's pretty cool. I like free things. Free things are some of my favorite things, honestly. If I'm being real. Wow, we can just kick an ogre's ass. That's pretty cool. I wonder if you can do anything with the skeletons or if they're just there for, like, world building. Because, like, it's very possible that it's, like, they don't actually do anything. And they're just like, oh, well, it's... You know, it'd be weird if you killed something and didn't have a skeleton, right? Uh, I don't... A book of party tricks, and... Not, I'm not enough into magic that I really care. Eat one of these rations. Can I eat a second ration? There we go. Yeah, just fill myself up because apparently my guy runs out of food real damn fast. He's full and then like 30 seconds later he's like, oh my god, I'm hungry. Which I feel that. That's a big mood. But still, it's like, come on, man. Like you are in a a damn dungeon, there are other things going on that maybe, maybe take some priority. Maybe some stuff takes priority over you being a little hungry. But I guess sometimes it's like he's starving, but still, it's like, how are you starving that quickly? A car- what even is that material? A carb- carbachon? That's pretty cool, I guess. Let's, uh, do we have multiple scrolls of identify? We do. Let's go ahead and identify that new ring. Because it looks cool. Uncursed ring of ice. We don't really use ice, but... I mean, I go. A hog comes into view. So it's, a, it's just a farmer? Am I just beating the shit out of a farmer? Increase level 9. Uh... I'm already strong enough to wear, like, any armor in the game, so we're going to go ahead and go for some dexterity. And we're going to beat the hell out of some cows, I guess, or some pigs and a yak and stuff like that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get the hell out of here. We're going to blink. 
and we're gonna eat something because that generally ooh okay we're gonna blink again and we're gonna blink again no okay yep we're gonna we're gonna run I didn't realize that uh, fighting some farm animals was going to be this big of a deal, but it is. I am on the brink of death. I don't want to be killed by a farm animal. Oh shit. Luckily we can just tear our way through that hound like it's not even there. And kind of continue on our merry way, as it were. Just running away, running away. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and turn around now. Now that we've been sitting, we've been running here long enough. Let's go ahead and use our shroud. And let's fight them back. There we go. The shroud unravels, but now I don't really care because I'm strong enough that I think I can deal with it. I like to it still shows the pigs over here, but it's like there's no pigs here. Let's go ahead and eat one of the chunks of flesh. Again, just because my character seems to be constantly hungry. So I don't see a reason to not uh, you know, have him eat these chunks of flesh and keep himself full. Man, we're full on rations, though. I'm a big fan of that. I'm a real big fan. Okay, what do we got here? Altar of... Yep. I don't know what he does. Like, I, I can't say I know enough about him to know if that's something we want to do. I'm actually going to Google these guys real quick. Just, I don't want to be making a huge mistake by walking past, like, a really good god, you know? How do you even... Sorry about that. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible, but... But, you know, it's kind of difficult. Um, let's see. So this guy's name starts with a Y, so he's at the bottom of the list. Dark evil god of death. Okay, so what does this guy do? The god of... God of death worshipped by those who seek power over death and the undead. Okay, so that would be if I was like a... Uh, if I was going to be a necromancer or something like that, that would be my guy. So this guy is Huska, however you say that. God of wild dancing. Appreciates many forms of worship. Dungeons worshippers like dance of combat. Appreciates the passion and rhythm of combat, rewarding followers with each strike they deliver and for damage they deal to their foes. The longer the dance continues, the greater the power. When the dance ends, quickly loses interest. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go for it, actually. We're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and, and pray to this guy. Yes. Because he's the, the god of dancing, but it's like he's the god of, of dancing, but he says it says that combat counts. So fighting a bunch of stuff totally counts. So in a situation like this, 
run absolutely surrounded. We can go ahead and use our big stomp. And we're going to blink. We're going to blink. We're going to blink. We're going to blink. We're going to blink again. Oh, I died. Never mind. Well, that's what I get for joining a religion. Just instantly died. I don't know why I thought it, I could fight all these people. Like, that was... That was too much, but that was dungeon level 8, so that wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, there were four bees, iguana, orcs. Like, that was crazy. I really should have just backed off. Um, but, you know what? Now we know. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully we will... I might even be trying the same run next time, because I feel like I did a pretty good job with it, and I like it a lot. So, uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, looks like we had some scrolls of noise, some resist corrosion. That would have been pretty cool. Um, yeah, we didn't really have any. I guess we had a heal wounds potion. But, yeah, overall, that wasn't a terrible run. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. So, uh, hopefully you guys, look at that. I'm actually 27,000, or 27. Yeah, 2,700. That's not bad, actually. The last time I died, it was like 4,800. But yeah, we're going to end it here. Uh, I will probably come back, maybe not tomorrow, but sometime soon. Um, hopefully tomorrow, but you never know, with another video. So uh, thank you guys for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next video.